Hey family, welcome back to Transcend with Ebony. It's Ebony here dropping by with another quick message. First and foremost, I want to um, welcome each and every one of you back to the channel. If this happens to be your first time here, welcome to the family. I hope each and every one of you is doing well today. Um, I am going to admit I almost did not jump on today as myself and my two boys have COVID at this time. Um, so your prayers would be much greatly appreciated. Uh, However, luckily, the symptoms are not too severe. Um, my youngest, he's he's feeling a lot better. The first day, he was kind of was kind of rough for him. Um, and then my other son, he's it just started kicking in with him um, last night. So they're both down for a nap at the moment. So the Holy Spirit just put on my heart to go ahead and jump in and just relay this message to someone. They thought you needed them. They wanted you to need them. They wanted so bad for you to need them, for them to see you moving on without them effortlessly, for them to see that you are really walking by faith and not by sight and to see the way that the Lord is blessing you. It's mind boggling to them. It's like right now you got people trying to pick their chin up, they jaw up off the ground. It's like one of them and you're like, okay, just let's, let's pick, let's just pick, Pick it up, baby. Just we're gonna pick your chin up, okay? It's, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, you see what you see. You cannot see what you see. Um, you know, these individuals thought that you're you were just gonna crumble, fall to pieces, and your life was just gonna fall apart um, without them. And the exact opposite has actually happened. Ever since you've walked away from this individual, or this individual walked away from you, however it may have happened for you. God has been blessing you ever since. See, it was like when you were entertaining that individual and you were with that individual, they were blocking your blessings because they weren't ready to do the work. They weren't ready to put in the work that you had put in. They weren't ready to elevate to the next level. They they wouldn't they were unwilling to put in the hard work, the um, the dedication, the blood, the sweat, the tears that you had put in into your own transformation and healing. This individual wasn't ready to do that. So how would it be fair to you for you to stay stagnant in one place due to another individual's decision or failure to make a decision to actually move forward and progress? It wasn't fair. So God led um, you to either walk away from this individual or cause this individual's heart to grow cold towards you to where this individual walks away from you. Um, however it may have worked, it worked It's all working together for your good. Um, so this individual, because, you know, the Lord said, I will, I will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. So now that the table is prepared, now that you're feasting or you're about to feast, your enemies can all see. They got front row seat to witness this, to witness the way that the Lord is blessing you. And it is eating them up inside because they know that they did you wrong. They know that they didn't treat you right. Um, you know, they know that they misused you or they took you for granted. But for somehow, deep down inside this individual, they thought you needed them. They wanted you to think you needed them. Matter of fact, during a relationship, I'm feeling that they actually gaslit you so long into trying to get you to believe that you needed them. They play mind games. They try manipulation, control tactics to to try and get you to really, truly, honestly believe that you needed this person to survive, that you needed them in order to reach your destiny, that you needed them in order to receive the blessings that the Lord had for you. <laughs> How foolish of them to think that even for a split second, because at the end of the day what's for you going to be for you no matter what. And just because of another individual, that is not about to be stopped. Now, don't get me wrong, while you were entertaining this individual and you refusing to let go of this individual for a while, I'm feeling for someone, um, you refused to let go of this individual for a while, even though God made it clear to you that you had to let go and walk away. And in you refusing to let go, it's like your blessings were on pause. It's like somebody squeezed the water hose and the blessings were not flowing through. 
but you knew they were there. You knew that God has so many things for you. You knew that God has so much in store for you. You knew that God wanted to bless you. You know that God, um, you know, gave you visions or, or this sense of knowing or understanding that the things that he promised you were going to come to you. But he started making it evident that the more you poured into this individual or refused to let go of this individual, the closer you held on, the, the tighter you held on to this individual, the more that, that hose began to, to shut, that flow stopped. And the moment you actually obeyed God and you walked away or you made peace with the fact that this person walked away, now it's like that, that hose has been released and the blessings are starting to pour into your life. It may just be a couple of trickles at a time, but nonetheless, they're starting to be released. That flow is starting to pick back up in your life and you are starting to receive the blessings. Things in your life are shifting. They're turning around and they're turning around rapidly. You've been doing really great for yourself. Most individuals would expect, you know, if, you, if you've gone through a breakup, you know, many people go through a depression or anxiety or stress or, you know, they go through a period of downtime. Now, nonetheless, you are human and you did go through, um, you know, the, the warfare that had to do with the, the separation of should you go back? Should you move on? Should you continue to stand? Should you not? Should you progress? What should you, you know, you went through the back and forth for a little while. Nonetheless, you've continued to walk by faith and not by sight. You've continued to seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And that's why all these things are being added unto you. You made the right decision. And this individual, they're just blown away at the fact that you're doing better off without them. They can't accept the fact that you're actually doing better off without them. They thought that you would fall if they left. You left them and they thought that you were going to be nothing. I'm hearing for someone, Holy Spirit said, they thought you were going to be nothing. The devil is a lie who thought that. The devil is a lie and the gates of hell should never prevail against a child of God. Excuse me, you guys. Oh, I'll be glad when this go away. Um, anyhow, I'm just grateful that the Lord is looking out for us and it's got us covered um, under the blood of Jesus Christ when it comes to this mess. And that, um, you know, we're, I know that we're going to have a speedy, speedily recovery. Um, and also thank you all for your prayers in advance. Anyhow, so this individual thought that you were going to fail without them. They thought you, you couldn't make it without them. And now that they see you shining like the gem that you are, shining brightly like the diamond that you are, you are successful in the things that you are doing. You're doing well off. You're doing better now than you were when they were in your life. And that was like an ultimate blow to their ego. They're like, wow. Like, am I seeing this? Like, what? what is this? Like, they left me and now they're doing great. They left me and now they're blessed. They left me and now this or or I walked away from them and now everything's falling together for them. Look what I missed out on. Yeah, look what they missed out on. Now they have to deal with that because it wasn't your fault that they didn't know how to treat you. It wasn't your fault that they misused you or took you for granted or anything of the sort. It was their own. It was their own heart posture. They were opportunists. They were in it for what they can get. And that's why God put a pause on these blessings until you removed yourself or he removed them from you because they are not going to benefit from the blessings that he is bringing into your life. The blessings that he is raining down upon your life now. And ever since you two have been separated, especially not those blessings that are coming because the blessings that are about to come into your life are massive. And when I tell you this person, um, does not deserve to eat at your table. They couldn't be a part of the blessings that you're about to receive. So I just pray this quick message blesses someone and encourages someone. I love you all. God loves you all. God bless you all. Talk to you soon.